everything that we go about to do and do it. God, I thank you for it. Give him the praise. Look with me at the book of, I mean, not the book, the page number 51 here. And find out what the Lord is showing us here. Page number 51. This outline was said manifested. The second paragraph on the middle said, it is impossible for us to complete or ignore the con condition of darkness that surrounds us daily. It is also imperative that we not participate in that darkness. Thankful that, that Christians seek a thankful that, that Christmas season is one in which kindness and goodwill are especially desired by all. You take now, just read on this a little bit here, and Christmas time, the honorest person out there on the street I'll do a good deed. The honest person out there on the street will do a good deed for somebody. That's right. It's not hard they go around. You can get some help from most anybody at Christmas. Mm -hmm. But after Christmas, <laughs> after Christmas, you have to walk carefully and you have to tip it toe to find out. Which one should I ask? Who should yes, I ask? yes. You have to watch, I mean, carefully ask anything, anybody favor after Christmas. Because mm. most people's the mind, most people get head over heels in debt, and their mind is focusing on that debt they owe. Mm -hmm. And they ain't got time to <laughs> focus on, uh, they should take time and yes. focus, put it all on God and let yes. Him guide them and let them use them. <laughs> As a two, the day mine is on that bill. Yes. I yes. should not have made all that big a bill. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> you looking yes, at somebody yes. that used to be. Woo! Oh, yeah. Look like Christmas time. Look like here. All the low companies in Tulsa were loaning you some money. They were loaning you some money. Of it. He came into yes. a dark world. 
He didn't have to do it, and we and we exemplify what he came to do. And people are given understanding. This is why we celebrate Christmas. See, if people get it backwards. We think that we got to get we get all kinds of gifts, but the best gift has already been given. Mm. He gave his son. Easter time come along, we got to get a whole lot of Easter eggs. We got to get a whole lot of brand new suits and everything. Celebrate everything but his death on the cross. He wanted us to remember all them things. That's what he did. He came and he died for us. So we didn't have to do it. So it's our time to take that opportunity. Just let somebody know you. Do you know Jesus? I remember. You remember that lady called by the woman? Get the off the shelf. She said, everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Mm. She used to sing that song all the time. Everybody need to know ought to know who Jesus is and what he came to do. So this is the time to celebrate him. Amen. His birthday. Amen. He didn't have to come here to do it, but he did. So we don't need to be with what you're going to give me for Christmas. I hear you all that. Thank the Lord for what he did. He didn't have to give his life. He didn't have to come to this down for, for us, but he did. Yeah. So that's what we have to identify what Christ did. I'm a, I'm a follower of Jesus Christ, so I need to be going by doing what he did. Yeah. Amen? That's what we hope to do. So it's open now, the light of Christmas. Anybody have a thought at this time want to share with us? Nobody? Would anybody please say something? <coughs> the light of Christmas. Uh, uh, Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. I think uh, uh, God so uh, thank the Lord so much. Yes. Uh, uh, for this time of year. Yes. If he hadn't uh, came into the world, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have uh, uh, been able to die. Mm -hmm. and Amen. Amen. Into the world. Uh, we celebrating his uh, uh, yes. birth. Uh, praise God. And this is a, a wonderful uh, a time to, to uh, celebrate. It is. And, and, uh, but the world is celebrating is uh, different. Mm -hmm. They think that uh, they get their uh, bars stacked up with all kind of liquor yes. and all of this and party all night. That's celebrating. We mm -hmm. celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's far from it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, praise God. <coughs> and uh, we are children of light. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we, we all <coughs> can walk in that light. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, 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 and you know, uh, a light is something that you can see how to go by. Yes. And, and uh, if our light is shining, then the world can see how to come to Christ through our lives. Amen. Uh, praise God. And, and I love how uh, John began his, his, uh, his book. Uh, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God, the same as in the beginning with God. All yeah. things were made by Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. Mm -hmm. And, and, and uh, it said in Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Uh, 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 praise God. And, and uh, I was looking at uh, light. Light uh, symbolize the Holy God. Yes. Signifies God's presence and favor. Yes. And and uh, the Bible also tells us that Jesus is the light of the world. Yes. yes. And the light of Christ guides us through the darkness of sin. Mm -hmm. And and uh, the light and struggle 
both spiritually and literally. Life and, and struggle, both spiritually and, and literally. How we be a light, how we be a light, let our light shine before others. That's how we can be a light, to let our light shine before others. Yes. And to walk in the uh, mm -hmm. light mean three things. Mm -hmm. In the spirit of uprightness and in the way of the Lord, mm -hmm. two, by faith, in love, mm -hmm. in the truth, three, mm -hmm. in the newness of life and mm -hmm. perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Yes. Uh, praise God. And, and it's walking in the light. And and uh, I also uh, saw where we are followers of God. Yes. And as uh, followers of God in Greek mean imitators. Yes. And we are to imitate uh, Christ Jesus. Yes. You know, children, uh, little children look at their parents. Mm -hmm. And if they're a parents, the type of parent that curse and do, those little kids uh, uh, be mm. cursing too. Mm. Mm. Amen. Because they imitate their their parents. Amen. Uh, praise God. And if their parents are Christian, and the uh, parents are praying, Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, mm. then they are doing mm. that too. They're going to be doing Same that too. Thing. That's right. Why? Yeah. Because they are imitators. Mm -hmm. And, uh, That's and good. they are imitators of the parents. We are imitators of Christ. That's good. Uh, praise God. And uh, Christ, Christ uh, uh, loved us so mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. uh, he gave his life for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, they didn't take his life. He mm -hmm. gave it free. Yes, yes. Uh, praise God for <coughs> us. Because why? Because he loved us. Yes. Mm -hmm. And his love... Uh, kept him hanging on the tree. Yeah. It's, love. it's love. Praise God. When you think about somebody paying a price that you should have paid. Yes. Uh, praise God. And paying the price for you. For you. Uh, that uh, uh, love. love. Praise yeah. God. That kind of uh, love. Yes. Uh, uh, it's uh, unlimited. Yes. There's no limit to that uh, our love. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And it's good to think about the cross sometimes. Yes, it is. It's good to That's think right. about That's right. That's right. That's right. Praise God. Glory to God. <coughs> the price He paid for mm -hmm. us. And it make you appreciate Him even more. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you think about that. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. Glory <coughs> to God. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are imitators of, of Him. Yes. And uh, he sacrificed his life for us um, and, and all. And I was uh, reading here, it says, Paul referred to Christ's death as an offering and a sacrifice. It was the ultimate sacrifice that all the Old Testament sacrifices are pointed to. And, and uh, Jesus didn't come in this world to do away with the law. Mm -hmm. That's uh, right. Praise God. He come to, to fulfill it. Oh, yes. yeah. To make it uh, better. Yes. Uh, praise God. Ooh. And, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, he, 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 he made it better by uh, sacrificing his life once and for all. Hallelujah. And praise God. Once and for all that back then they kill uh, animals, goats, and all of this for sacrifice. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Praise God. Glory to God. Was uh, killing uh, innocent animals. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. They hadn't done nothing. That's but right. it was used as a sacrifice. Innocent. Praise right. God. And, and, and uh, uh, Jesus made it better uh, by doing it once and for all. Oh God. Praise yeah. God. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, he sacrificed oh. his life. Uh, mm -hmm. For the whole world, yes. sacrifice his life for just a few. Mm -hmm. For the whole world, mm -hmm. uh, praise God, glory to God. Mm -hmm. He even sacrificed the one uh, for the one that nailed him to the cross. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His life was sacrificed for them too. Yes. Uh, praise God, glory to God. And and uh, uh, and it's it's no. Uh, 
a love greater than his love. Amen. Praise God. And and said, this happened to be uh, as believers uh, present their bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, mm -hmm. which is your reasonable servant. It's reasonable uh, for us to, to sacrifice our bodies to him. Give him our whole bodies, uh -huh. soul, mind, and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God, because everything belongs to Him, anyways. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. And if you read the first, first, uh, uh, first uh, uh, verse, and mm -hmm. it's, it's telling us in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Uh -huh. This is letting us know Jesus was here at the creation. Yes. Uh, uh, praise God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things was made by Him, uh, and without Him wasn't anything made, made that was made. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Praise God. Everything was made was made by Him. By him. And as our brother Brian was uh, uh, saying, people that in 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 the world they uh, uh, make things and and all of that. But all everything was already made. Mm -hmm. They what's that word you said? It, you said it good. They did. Huh? He said it, he said it, it was made, but but you know was, men might have put it together. But well, it yeah, put it together. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Praise God. That was good. That was good. Yeah. 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 Praise God. Yeah. Man, but man is putting things together mm -hmm. and saying they made this, they yeah. made that, and all mm -hmm. that. But everything was uh, uh, made by God yes, yes. from the first mm -hmm. uh, get-go. Yes, uh, yes. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And so we have to honor and respect uh, Him yeah, uh, in everything. Yes, uh, yes. Praise God. And, and uh, uh, whatever uh, we are doing, mm -hmm. honor and respect Him. Uh, uh, praise God. Yeah. Because we wouldn't be here if it be not for Him. That's mm -hmm. right. We wouldn't be here today gathering. Mm -hmm. This is Christmas Eve. Amen. Uh, praise God. And tomorrow is Christmas Day. Yes. And uh, we're celebrating uh, Christmas Eve in His house. Yes. And, and uh, that's a blessing. Amen. Uh, praise God to be in His house. Mm -hmm. So many people don't have time today to be in church. Uh -huh. Because they out shopping, uh -huh. uh, trying to get gifts and everything for tomorrow. Uh -huh. uh, praise God. Glory to God. Uh -huh. uh, that don't mean a thing uh -huh. if you're not uh, in God's house celebrating His birth. Uh, His birth. Yes, uh, yes. Praise God. And, and uh, we know that the greatest uh, 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 gift uh -huh. uh, uh, was given to us. Uh, Christmas gift, yes. the uh, greatest gift ever was mm -hmm. given us was Christ Jesus. Yes, it was. Uh, it, he the one gave us the greatest gift yes. ever, he did. Uh, Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God, and that's why we are celebrating. Mm -hmm. uh, celebrating because this is a, a, a gift to us. Yes, praise God, <laughs> glory to God, mm -hmm. and so so uh, <coughs> so. Uh, I'm excited uh, 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 about uh, the gift that he gave. Amen. Uh, praise you. God. It wouldn't be a Christmas if it wasn't for him. Amen. It wouldn't be a Christmas to uh, celebrate mm -hmm. if it wasn't for him. That's right. And praise God. So so uh, this is a, a, a beautiful uh, celebration today. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we all can keep our minds on mm -hmm. knowing that... that uh, this is a gift to us from Him. Mm -hmm. uh, praise God. He came into this this world for us. Yes. Uh, praise God. Glory to God. It's good to give gifts now. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's That's good right. to give yes. gifts. That's right. yes. uh, praise God. Glory to God. But don't let your uh, gift giving or uh, 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 cause hurt or uh, pain or uh, uh, hurt to you. Mm. See, like uh, uh, a lot of people, like uh, Brother Brian was saying, mm. are spending money that they don't have. Mm. Have to spend on on gift, and that's going to hurt you. Yes. Uh, praise God, glory to God. Mm -hmm. And and uh, uh, you give as what you have to give. You you don't go uh, uh, go and get in debt. 
Uh, praise God to give. Mm. Uh, praise God. Glory to God. You give according to what you have. Mm -hmm. If you don't have but uh, two dollars, mm -hmm. you give that. Praise mm -hmm. God. And mm -hmm. that's uh, just just as much as someone that gave someone a thousand dollars. Yes. Because you gave all that you had. Mm -hmm. Praise mm -hmm. God. Glory to God. Right. And and God gave uh, what He had. He gave His only begotten Son mm -hmm. uh, for us. Yes. And that's why we are celebrating today, praising and and thanking Him mm -hmm. for His gift. That's Thank right. You. Hallelujah. And also, it's the thought that counts. Not it's the thought of, of giving. I, I look with me at this verse here uh, from what Paul is writing and said, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Mm. Be followers of God as dear children. Dear children can stand correction. Mm. 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 That's a dear child. Mm -hmm. But if you try to correct somebody <coughs> that's hard-headed and stiff that ain't going to stand correction, he ain't talking about you. A dear child, when you come mm -hmm. about God will forgive you if you ask him. He's rather to forgive. And we need to follow God as dear children. We make mistakes. No matter how old we get, mm -hmm. we subject to making a mistake. Amen. But when we repent and come back to God, a dear child will come back and say, I'm sorry. They ain't going to say, oh, I got away with it. Not a dear child, woman. Mm -hmm. They stumble upon them when they find that they done made a mistake. They want somebody to forgive them. Yes. And then they're going on down the road. That's what I'm seeing in this verse. Now, mm -hmm. You might see a little different than that, but that's what I'm looking at. As we follow God as a dear child, we can send a correction. If we fall down, get back up. And then we stumble and we... Oh, somebody apologize, go do it and get it done. When it comes to you, remember, I need to do that. I owe you an apology. I need to go to him. I don't need to go around him 40 years before I come to him. I need to go right then when it comes to me. Sometimes I might do something and don't see it. But if, the spirit, if I don't override the Spirit of God, fear come to you and try to let you know that you done done. But when he comes to you and lets you know you did that, do it right then. Metal Palace, I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't say that right. I made a mistake. But get it right. That's dear. Correcting your mistake, cleaning up your act and going on down the road. Every time we find out something is wrong, if I find out this suit need a button on, I put the button on there. Don't walk around, oh, I sure, sure do need a button on this. Don't keep it going every day, I sure need a button on this. Put it on now. And when we find out we made a mistake, correct it. Forgive me, Lord. I stumbled up and fell. I need to, don't get up and walk on down the road. I'll leave the church in the wrong attitude and stay away from the church six months, then come back in there and pick back up where I left off at. No. You know, the church apology. Come in here and respect the church as a whole and apologize the way you left. That's right. And then you can pick back up and go on down the road yeah, with the right. church. But see, some folk don't see it like that's a dear child. When we fall in God at dear child, we make mistakes, get them right. That's right. Correct. As we find out, correct them. Every mistake you make, correct it. And after a while, you won't be making them. so many mistakes. Hallelujah. When you correct the one, keep on correcting the one. After a while, you're growing. You keep growing and you overwrite them little things. That don't bother you no more. You're going on down the road. Anybody else had a thought from this lesson? The light of Christmas. <laughs> But I 
In the other word, before the world was already made, mm -hmm. the word of God was in existence. And the word, we can say, mm -hmm. is Jesus. Jesus is the word. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he is the life, too. Mm -hmm. And like it went on, I'm the same. Yeah. Let no man deceive you with vain words, mm -hmm. but because of these things come and be back above a furniture of disobedience. He, uh, he tells us, don't let anyone deceive you. Please, do not let anyone deceive you. They can talk real good, uh, good talk to yes. you. But if you know the word, if you know what's right, and yes. what's wrong, what is wrong. Mm -hmm. And like you said, the wrath of God that is disobedient. Say the wrath of God upon you. And uh, number eight, say, but he was sometimes dark, uh, darkness, but yes. now are he light? in the law, what oh, is true of the light? You know, yes, we all has been, uh, know that uh, have sin, but now since we, we are in the light, it's time that we shall walk mm -hmm. in the light. In other yeah. words, we shall be an example of Christ, you know, let the light shine in other light. Mm -hmm. You know, see that yes. example. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. That's enough. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Sister Hunter. You know, light is, is sometimes, it get it understanding open up to you. Like, we come in this door, in this building, and it's dark. We turn that light on, we mm -hmm. can see. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we in a conversation, somebody bring up something you've been seeking or you don't understand, give you understanding, and you walk in that light. That's light. Hallelujah. And, and, and we are to exemplify Christ with the light in us. When we we ex expose people when they and otherwise the way we walk in a in a bit we walk in the building full of sinners. Mm. I'm talking about full of rank sinners. <laughs> and they talking all kinds of bad talk. Mm -hmm. And you can walk in that building and and somebody see the light in you, it sometimes it just bring silence to that place. Mm -hmm. I have did it. Walk in the place, they were cutting up in there. And they, it looked like when I walk in the place, it looked like I turned the light out. They lost it. silence. Darkness brings silence. The other one, you turn the light off, you better get quiet. Mm -hmm. We expose daylight. And sound I like. You know, well, they'll get quiet and they'll know you so much different from them. Mm -hmm. And they're looking at you up and down and wondering where you come from because you ain't like them. Your spirit don't mean with them. So they know you're different. Yeah. If you have to find Christ, let him flow through you and let him use you. And do we have another witness before we call it a word? Yeah, I'd like to hear something. Yeah, you're a witness? Yes. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. I was sitting in the room with this story here. It says, too often what shines from us is ourselves, mm -hmm. or perhaps our beliefs, or our church. The Bible also tells us that, that God, as God's children, we should fight the good fight of faith. This does not mean we are to be harsh or bitter as Christians. Rather, because we have Satan as our spiritual enemy, we must use the promises of God and His Word to be victorious in Christ, who defeated Satan and the cross. It is the fight of faith that is the source of victory over Satan and his evil hopes. The Christian life is a walk with God and against evil. 
to win against all the powers of evil, we fix our eyes on Jesus, who has already defeated our fiercest folks. When we see Christmas lights during this joyous holiday, let us remember to shine the light of Christ. By walking in the light, we defeat the powers of darkness and spread God's precious truth. And I also want to read this. The world is full of spiritual darkness. People are hurting and confused. Just as a Magi could never have intuit intuitively understood the meaning of the star, so believers cannot naturally come to know the truth. They do not need a new star. They need us to bring them the light of Christ. Mm. All we need is a personal story like the one the shepherds had about what we ourselves have seen and heard and experienced. In every case, someone brought the light of Christ to every person who believes. You too have a story to tell of how you came to know the truth. Mm -hmm. Your story is unique. As you follow God, walking in the light as his dearly loved child, you can tell your story to others, how you saw the light, father the light, and mm. the Savior. Mm. While this children of light, you never know when your life will be the star that leads someone to the Savior. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All right. Thank you, sister. Uh, verse number eight, Paul is encouraging us when we get understanding, when we get the light in us, then the walk is the light. Yes. Don't do that because see, there's so many people, the churches are empty all over the city of Tulsa. On Sunday morning, people confessing. I mean, they know about Christ. They've been saved a long time, but the darkness is in the house. The darkness will let people know. Now, if you've been saved that many years and you, you ain't sick, ain't nothing wrong with you, how come you ain't in the house of God? How come you ain't doing what the Word tells us? So yes. you know better. For you are sometimes darkness. Now, we were in the world. We know what the world will do mm. on days of come along. Like, like, I, like I, was, I was in the world when I, I called these long company. They bring $500 to my house. <coughs> I wasn't in the church. Mm. Yeah, seeing how much money can I get on Christmas. Mm. Mm. Man, I mean, where you live? Boom, boom. I, and that's, that's unusual for a long company. Bring it. <laughs> Try and get it. Bring it. Bring it. You know what because they want to get you in there. Yeah. <laughs> the enemy, he, he, he look at how he gets the soldiers. Now I know better. I'm in the light. For ye were sometime darkness, but now ye are light in the Lord. Mm. Walk as children of the light. Yeah. So now I, I got all this. I know about what they do out there. I don't have to go over there because I know what I used to do that. Mm -hmm. Why should I want to go back and do what I used to do when God had brought me out of that darkness? And I can see now how I go. I can see how to walk now. I can see how to walk around in the world now. I can pass by people cursing and going on. I don't have to stop and listen to them. Because mm -hmm. I can see where I'm going. Hallelujah. But before I stop and listen, <laughs> John in. <laughs> Let me tell you what I know. <laughs> I was in the darkness with them. Yes. But now I got the sense for Christ. I know better. Why would I be so old preacher? Look at him. Look at him partaking in all that stuff. So I, when I was in the world, I tried to correct some preachers. Oh, I know they were supposed to be preachers. They ain't supposed to be doing that. I walk and hey man, what you doing laughing and going on at that joke? That ain't funny to me. Now how can it be funny to you? <laughs> Listen, I did that on my job. <laughs> when I was in the world, this is sounds funny and they sound uh, stupid, but I was in the world, I knew better than to act up around Christians. Mm. I would not act up around people I thought were living right. And especially if I seen some Christian acting up like that and partaking of Sunday or, you know, followers of God, I would jump, hey, what you doing in there? How come you enjoying that? And you're going to be a Christian. 
I was correcting folk when I wasn't correcting myself. Mm -hmm. so, and, and I know better now. Yeah. Yeah. Ye were sometime in darkness, but now ye are light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. So I can walk. And now I know how to walk. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Praise God. Appreciate you too, sir. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're going to have a hand phrase for our Sunday school teacher. Yeah. Appreciate them so, 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 so much. So much. Precious jewels. Indeed. So, yeah, we are. Eternally grateful for associate pastors, Dad and Mom Brian, and continually give them their flowers Praise of true God. appreciation and honor for their excellent and sound and godly teaching of God's Word, along with the priceless examples of wisdom and godliness they are to us. Amen. God bless you, God bless you, Dad. Yes. Bless you, sir. We also honor and appreciate our precious mother, Hunt. Yes. Her yes. God the examples also. Yes. Uh, yes. Amen. It's precious. Appreciate you. And along with our children's teachers who work in the back. And all who participate, we are better yes. together. Yes. Mm -hmm. We definitely honor, honor and appreciate the pastor of this house. Mm -hmm. Great woman of God, Pastor Regina Tucker. Mm -hmm. And our bishop, Bishop Roy Tucker. Yes, yes, yes. 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 This part of Sunday school is when we go through the scriptures of the lesson. Mm -hmm. uh, you will need your Bibles today to follow along. So our lesson today, the light of Christmas. Yes. The lesson text is John chapter 1, verses 1 through 5, and Ephesians verse, chapter 5, verses 1 through 2, and then verses 6 through 14. Yes. As is our custom here at Mother Turkey Ministries, let's go back and recap last week's lesson in the spirit of diligence, right? Amen. What was our lesson title last week? Learning contentment. Learning contentment. Yes. Learning contentment. That was in Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 18. So in that lesson... Uh, Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 in that lesson says to do what? Chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice. 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 And what? Rejoice. In the Lord, right? And then it says do that how often? Always. Always. Always rejoicing. Yes. Right? And the idea of rejoicing implies joy. Joy. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. There's some joy there. Mm -hmm. You're rejoicing. Amen. In the Lord, in your hope. And again, I say, what? Rejoice. 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 Verse 5. He says, let what be known? Moderation. Your moderation or your gentleness. Right? That you're treating people right. Right? Let, 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 let your niceness, let, let how you treat people be what? No. Be known to who? All men. All men. Yes, right. all men. Let your moderation be known. We should have a reputation. We should be known as people who treat people Amen. good, gentle, right? Yes. We're nice, nice. I heard one. I heard one uh, brother say, <laughs> he said, uh, I said, you know, brother, the longer you're in this, the sweeter you should be. <laughs> right. The longer you're in this, the sweeter you should be. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's just good. Mm -hmm. He said, now, now who is at hand? Lord. The Lord. Yes. The whole of God is at hand. Yes. Verse 6, Paul said uh, to be what for nothing? Careful. Yeah. Careful or anxious, right? Yes. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, don't worry. Don't worry. Right. Don't worry. The idea of casting our cares to God, to the Lord, to Jesus, is not worrying. I gave it to him. 
in prayer, right? Give it to God in prayer and, and leave it there. Yes. But in everything, what? By what? Prayer. Prayer and supplication, supplication which is request through prayer, right? Prayer requests, supplications. Mm -hmm. By everything, uh, but by everything, he said, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with Thanksgiving. That's an attitude right there. Yes. yes. Grateful. He said, let what be known. Request. Let your request yes. be known unto, unto men. Unto God. Men <laughs> can't really do nothing about all of that, right? No. Let your request be known unto God. Yes. Let your moderation, let your gentleness be known to men. Let your request be known to God. He said, let your request be made known unto God. Verse 7. Uh, so I, I did a recap. So Paul said, be gentle with all men. Uh, verse 5. After rejoicing, verse 1. Okay, that's verse, verse 2. After rejoicing, verse 1. Then don't worry or be anxious for anything. Uh, but by seeking God and making your request to God and give it all over to God with thanksgiving. Make all of this known unto God. Then Paul says in verse 7 that after that, what shall keep you? Peace. 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 Then the peace of God. So so this is not a this is not a verse that stands alone. Right? This this is saying, he's saying, after doing all of that, yes. then the mm -hmm. peace of God. Yes, and that peace, that peace is not just the absence of trauma, right? Mm -hmm. Even though it does include that, but this word peace, whew, mm -hmm. really comes really comes back to one, being one, completed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Centered. Yes. Oh man, it's a beautiful thing. Like I said, it, it, it's a somewhat of an equivalent. This is Greek, but that's a, it's an equivalent to the Hebrew shalom, right? Which goes back to oneness. Oh, it's a powerful thing. Good peace or one. All right, I don't have time. But but he said, but he said, and the peace of God shall do what? Shall keep you. Hmm. Yes, sir. And, and, and he said, this piece of God that does what? Passes all, passes all understanding. Yeah. This piece of God which passes all understanding shall keep what? Your heart. hearts, hearts yes. and Mine. minds through who? Christ, Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Verse 8, Paul says, finally, brethren, mm -hmm. whatsoever things are what? True. 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 Paul said, what sort of things are true? And I said last week how this word true uh, comes from a Greek word, alethes, alethes, alethes. It means uh, not concealing anything or nothing is hidden. Mm -hmm. Everything is out there. Yeah. Uh, and I keep saying the Bible speaks in completeness. This mm -hmm. is a language of the Bible. Yes. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Yes. The Bible speaks in wholeness. This is a language of Scripture, right? Mm -hmm. This is what it all comes down to is wholeness. Yes. But this is what truth is. Mm -hmm. Truth is a whole thing. Mm -hmm. Not concealing nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I ask the question, is part of the truth still the truth? No. Part of the truth is a whole lie. <laughs> Yes. Part of the truth is a complete lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he said, this, "This is what we think about. This is this is like this is one of my favorite scriptures." Mm -hmm. he said, "Finally, finally, brother, what sort of things are true? Right? Nothing hidden, complete, uh, everything out there. Right? Mm -hmm. What sort of things are what? Honest, honest or honorable? Yes. Mm -hmm. Things worthy of honor. Right? Honest." Mm -hmm. What sort of things are what? Just, yes. just righteous, mm -hmm. uh, 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 in line with what is right to, uh, uh, according to God, yes. right? Which would line up with the, his, what His Word, the law, right? Mm -hmm. Would we'll line up with that. What sort of things are what? Pure, Pure clean, mm -hmm. innocent, mm -hmm. 
innocent. Yes. I like that. Mm -hmm. Innocent. Because mm -hmm. we have these thoughts. A lot of us have these thoughts in our mind yes. Yes. about things, situations, and people, and they're not innocent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get into people's motives and all of this stuff that we don't know. <laughs> Amen. No, we don't. I, I know we think we do, but we don't. We don't know. <laughs> Just like you know, you don't know, I know your motives. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> As you would men to do, you, you do to them likewise, right? Mm -hmm. If I, I can look at your face and I may think that you're thinking something, and you may just be listening. Amen. You may just be listening. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, it could be whatever. So I stay out of that. Yes. But but so so I, so he said, what sort of things are innocent? Yes. Yes. This is what God is really trying to get us back to is innocence. Mm -hmm. This is what Adam lost in the garden was innocence. Uh -huh. This is what Yeshua came to bring us back to really was a place of yes. innocence, which yes. is wholeness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Okay. What sort of things are pure, right? Mm -hmm. Goes on to say after that, what sort of things are what? Lovely, Lovely or acceptable, right? Yes. Lovely, beautiful. Lovely, right? Mm -hmm. What sort of things are of a good, good, good report, report, right? Spoken of well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If there be any virtue. virtue, now saying last week this word virtue comes from a Greek word that uh, it really implies, it came from a word that means man. Or, or this word virtue, virtue is translated manly, uh, manliness, or, or it, so, so it goes back to something that would, would imply strength, right? If there's something that's going to help you to be virtue, virtue means uh, strength, you know, some, something that's going to defend, some, something that's going to help. Yes, yes. If it's going to help you, uh -huh. if there, is there any strength in that? Is, is there anything in there that's going to help you fight the enemy? Mm -hmm. All right. If there be any virtue, valor, virtue, right? Mm -hmm. Woo. Yeah. If there be any what? Praise. Praise. Mm -hmm. Anything glorifying God, right? If there be any praise, mm -hmm. Paul says to do what? This is what, you, this is what you put in your mind. Yes. This is what you listen to in your music. Yes. This is what we watch on television. Yes. This is what we read. This yes. is what we That's think right. on. Right. This is right. what we think That's right. on. That's right. This is what we think on. Amen. Right. That's right. Amen. And that was yes, sir. And the Bible says that so a man thinks, so is he? So you're thinking on all this evil, you're doing evil. That's right. That's right. If, if people say, oh, that's it. <laughs> Y'all know we heard that. <laughs> oh, they say a cuss word. Oh, that's it. I was going to say That's what it is. That's what it is. You know, it is going to come out. It's going to come out. So these are things we think on. Yes. You know, music is a powerful. Mm -hmm. when we like it and in this culture everything is about entertainment this is the slippery slope yes. everything is about entertainment uh -huh. and we separate entertainment from us yes. so we do things in the name of entertainment mm -hmm. because the beat sounds nice and it feels good and this and that uh -huh. we don't realize that the enemy is slipping in yes. That's right. That's right. and it's affecting how we think yes. <coughs> That's a true thing. Now. That's a true thing. So he said, if there, if "These are the things." I tell you, this is beautiful. This, these are what these are what we think of. Verse nine. He said, "Those things which ye have what both learned learn and received receive and heard, heard and seen. where in, in, in you in, in, in them in the church in the pastor." Yes. Paul said in me. Yes. Paul oh, took some responsibility. He said, those things you saw in me. Yes. I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm accepting the challenge. I am accepting the challenge to be an example. Yes. I know we thank God for the example that we have. But I'm trying to be an example of myself. Yes. yes. And we should all have that mindset. Don't put it on them. That's right. 
Amen. Mm. Every day we're growing. We're growing Amen. in grace, Amen. right? We're getting better. We're getting better. Yes. Paul said, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't look back at the things which are behind. I take response. I, I own those things. Whatever I did, I own it. Mm -hmm. yes. But I'm pressing oh, ahead yeah. towards a mark. Yes. Yes. There's a mark. There's something in Okay. There's, there, there's something that we're heading toward, right? Yes, this is where my mind, this is where our minds are focused. Amen. This is where we're going. Mm -hmm. So I did some things. Yeah, I did that. I did that. And I think that that's a testimony. I'm not ashamed of none of that stuff because that's just a sign of what God can do in anybody's life. Right? Amen. Not, not, not saying that you have to go through things. I want to clarify this. Mm -hmm. Not saying that you have to go through a whole bunch of mess. That's right. Because a lot of children grow up in church, and this is something that a lot of children grow up in church. They grow up, and then if they're not careful, they have these thoughts that they got to go out and get a testimony because they hear a lot of uh -huh. powerful testimonies. Yes, yes. And they have to be encouraged that the greatest testimony is that God kept me. That's right. 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 Amen. Amen. That is the greatest yes, testimony. Yes, he is. Is to be kept. Yes. Amen. Praise God. That's good. But that's a real thing that children have to do. The children, yes. they, they deal with that. I'm telling you, they deal with that. They deal with it. They think. They think that they don't have a testimony because they, they hear these powerful things that people are doing. But the yes. greatest testimony is to be kept. Yes, to be kept. Okay, all right. But Paul says, those things which you have seen, which you have both learned, verse 9, and received, and heard, and seen in me. Mm -hmm. He said that they he said to do what? To do. And what shall be with you? God of peace. God of peace shall be with you. Verse 10, he said, But I rejoice in the Lord greatly mm -hmm. that now at the last your care of who? Me. Me have flourished again wherein you were also careful mm -hmm. but you, what? You lack what? Opportunity. You didn't have an opportunity. So Paul is really, I'm going to tell you, we don't have time to finish this, but the Philippians, Paul, you can really see when you really read this, Paul is really getting emotional. He, he really, he's crazy about these Philippians because they reached out to him when he was in need. Yes, they did. He was crazy about yes, them, yes. right? He, he was really, you, you, you can, I can feel his, you know, what, what he's, he's really appreciating them. Yes, yes, he is. All right, so we're going to come on to today's lesson. Uh, we just don't, it's just so much in there. Uh, he said, I can do all things through Christ, which is good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Yes. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Amen. So today's lesson, the light of Christmas. Yes. Now, if you would, if you would uh, bear with me. Um, so I have a conviction that you know that I don't really, you know, I don't really do Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I and, and, and the scriptures aren't really talking about Christmas. I don't this this is just for my conviction because I can't I have to say what is what the word says. Yes. I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk about what the word says. So in a, in, in my own title, in my own title, I call it the children of light. Mm -hmm. All right. But so anyway, let's let's get into this though. Um so this was but the, the, the lesson title was titled The Light of Christmas. Our, our scripture lesson text is John chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. And then it goes to Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 through 2, and then verses 6 through 4. So John 1 says, what was in the beginning? Word. 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 Mm -hmm. He said the word... Uh, uh, and, and he said, who was with, who was the word with? God. The word was with God. Mm -hmm. I have written down because in Genesis 1 and 1, it says, in the beginning, who? The word. God. God. Yeah. In the beginning, God. So God was in the beginning. Mm -hmm. so, so the gospel writer of John is saying, the word was in the beginning with God. Mm -hmm. uh, John 1 and 1 continues to say, and the word was who? God. The word was God. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, I have written now, we're in Sunday school, meaning hopefully we're here to learn. So right quick, uh, I know when we say the word, we're referring
referring to the whole word of God in the Bible. But in the Bible, they didn't have the Bible. They didn't have the Bible. No. Biblical scholars conclude that Mark, which was the first gospel, was written probably around 66 to 70 AD. That was about the time of the uh, Roman Jewish War. Mm -hmm. Matthew and Luke was written around 80 to 95 uh, AD. John was written around 90 to 110 AD. So they didn't have the complete organized Bible that we have today. So when John said the word, he more than likely was not referring to the Bible as we have today. So what did the gospel writer mean by the word? <coughs> Matthew 13 and 19 uh, ex explains that very well referring to the word. You can turn it for a moment. I'm going to read this right quick. Talking about the word, because the word is mentioned quite a bit through the, through, through the scriptures. But there, there, is a, there is a line of thought. There is a continuity. Matthew 13, 19. Uh, this is Jesus talking, Yeshua talking. I just want to drop this right quick before we continue, because we're talking about the word. Mm -hmm. So in Matthew 13, 19, Yeshua, now he, now he had just told the parable of the sword, right? Yes. So now, verse 19, he, he, he starts kind of elaborating on it. He says, uh, when one heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it, then cometh the wicked one. You know, I don't want to read all of that. He said the word of the kingdom. Now, uh, in Matthew 13 and 11, he, he's, he's talking about the mysteries of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. yes. You can go back and read the whole chapter. I'm just going to give you some points just to kind of make this little yes. point. So he's talking about, this is the context. He's he always, always said the only message he taught, mm -hmm. preached, spoke on was the kingdom of God. So he's talking about, he said, because it is, uh, they answered, they, they asked, why speakest thou unto them in parables? Verse 11. He answered, said unto them, because it's given unto you, talk to the disciples, yes. to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Uh -huh. But unto them it is not. And so he's elaborating on the kingdom. So now in verse 19, he said, when one heareth the word of the kingdom. kingdom. The word will be the gospel, the good news, just the same. The kingdom, right? This is all he's talking about. Yes, yes. You go on to, and he's talking about the kingdom, verse 24, he goes on, he's talking about another parable, he's spoken to them saying, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man which sowed his soul to seed. Goes down to verse 31, another parable, he's spoken unto them saying, the kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed. You can read that. Verse 33, he goes on to say another parable he's speaking unto them, the kingdom of heaven. It's all he's talking about, he is talking about nothing else, right? Mm -hmm. Go on to verse 44, again, he says the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure. Verse 45, mm -hmm. again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant seeking goodly pearl. Verse 47, the, king, the kingdom of heaven, everything's about the kingdom of heaven. Then verse 51, he says to them, have ye understood all these things? Mm -hmm. We want to make sure they understand what he's talking about. Yes, yes. Verse 52, he says unto them, Therefore every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven, that scribe was the one who taught the law. Yes. Mm -hmm. Every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a household to bring forth his treasures, things new and old. You, you can read all this. So I just wanted to give some insight on what he meant by the word. The word was the word of the kingdom. Yes. Woo. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, we're going to move on. So, so I just want to touch on that when, when he says the word, right? The word was with God. Yes. And the word was God. Yes. All right, now back, back to our lessons. Uh, so John 1 and 2 says the same was where? 
in the beginning, right, with whom? God. With God. Verse 3. What was made by him? All things. All things. Uh, could anything be made without him? No. It says, and, and anything that was made was made by men. No. No. It was made by the word, by him, right? By the show. Uh, I was thinking about, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I'm thinking about this whole idea of evolution, right? And, and they, they, they talk about how everything began with the star exploding, and they, they, they call that the beginning. Mm -hmm. A star exploded. Mm -hmm. Well, somebody said, well, who created the star? <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. You can't go back. You know, you got to go back to something that was created. That's right. <laughs> you can't get past mm -hmm. the creator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it says, uh, all things were made by him. Like Dad was saying, <laughs> you know, he made, he created everything that man put together. Right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He, oh man, it's, it's not complicated. It's not complicated. Uh, verse four says, "In Him was what? Life. 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 Woo! This life is Zoe life, right? Yes. Comes from the Greek word Zoe, which is the eternal life, the life that is eternal. Mm -hmm. This is that same life." And I'm going to ask a question. According to the Bible, when does our eternal life begin? When you believe, when you accept, that's right. Eternal, our eternal life does not begin after we die. According to the Bible, according to the Bible, our eternal life don't believe on it. Don't begin on Judgment Day. It don't begin in the afterlife. According to the Bible, our eternal life begins when we accept the Son, because in Him we just. In him is life. Yes. First John 5, 11, and 12 breaks it down real clear. I don't have time, but you can go back. We've we read it. We've read that before. It's in there, ain't it? It's in there. It? <laughs> it's, in there. It's, it's a beautiful thing. So he said, in him was what? Life. Life. Woo. The life is in him. Yes. Oh, man. Life is in the kingdom. Life is in the word. All right. And the uh, life was what? Light light. Light. The what of men? Light. Light. The light. The light of men. Right? Mm -hmm. I was going to say, even John 3.16 says, He that believeth in him, mm -hmm. believeth in him, mm -hmm. shall have everlasting mm -hmm. or eternal life. Right? This, yeah. this, all, this is a beautiful thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. So then he says, that life is the Light of men. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to deal with that word light. That word light comes from a Greek word phos. P-H-O-S. Phos. Mm -hmm. um, which is also <coughs> translated fire. Mm -hmm. It's translated fire in Mark 14, 54 and Luke 22, 56. Both of those are when, are when, uh, when Peter was warming himself by the fire. Yes. That word fire is that same word phos. And this is the thing. So back then, they didn't have artificial light like we have. They didn't have artificial light. Their light was a fire. It was a lamp. A lamp was a fire. They had a, they had a fire in there, right? There was no artificial light back then. So, so the light is going to come from the fire. Mm -hmm. And this is that same fire that Jeremiah spoke of. <laughs> Jeremiah 29, 29, when he talked about a burning fire, yes. shut up in my bones. And he was talking about the word. <laughs> Woo! He was it was like a burning fire. Oh, I, got, I can't hold it. It's burning. And that's where the light comes from. <laughs> that's where the light comes from. Is that fire? Yes. Oh yes. That's the illumination. So when Jesus Yeshua said, Let your light so shine. Yes. <laughs> oh yes, he's talking about the light from that fire. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Oh yes. 
So this is the fire that the this is this is where the light comes from. Because we always think about a light bulb. I know I always read this before I was studied it. I thought about a light bulb. That your light, I'm thinking about a light bulb, you know. Which, you know, but but that's wasn't what, what it meant. That wasn't what he was saying. All right. So he said, so so the life, which is eternal life, is the light. Yes. That is that's gonna be burning on the inside of you and it's gonna create a light. Yes. Of me, for the for the people, right? The light of me. Yes. My God. Oh yes. Don't turn it down. Don't turn the light down because you're persecuted. Amen. Don't That's turn right. the light down because of persecution. That's right. As long as long as you as long as we are living godly and we were walking in love and we're walking in righteousness and mm-hmm. things like that. You know, we we need to go out and just start stuff, right? Just to be strange. But don't turn the light down right. because of persecution. That's right. All right, you gotta keep going. Somebody else will stumble. Because they're trying to follow the light. They're yeah. stumbling on your light. Your light don't went out. Well, you watch it. They're <laughs> on the highway and they ain't got no light. They yeah, got light. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I'm going to read this next verse right quick. It says, And the light shineth where? There you go. This is going to tie into what you're saying, Dad. Oh, the, the, the light shineth where? In darkness. Hit that light right. Now, now, this is darkness, right? Yes. Darkness, uh, darkness is the absence of light. Light is not really the absence of darkness. Darkness is the absence of light. Turn it back on. Mm-hmm. So the light shineth mm-hmm. in darkness. Amen. Mm-hmm. And, and it says, thank you, Brother Ryan. Mm-hmm. And it says the darkness, what? Comprehended it. That word comprehend really means did not overcome it. Amen. Overcome evil with good, right? Light will always overcome darkness. Yes. If there is darkness, turn on the light. God, in the, in the beginning, God, the, the Bible says that there was darkness, and God said that there be light. 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 Yes. Light. Woo. Light. <laughs> so light is going to always overcome darkness every single time. Yes, it will. Amen. So we take that with us, right? Yeah. I don't care how dark it is, if we we're letting our light shine. Come on. It's going to over it's going to overcome the darkness. Come on. It is. Yeah. Yeah. The, the light is undefeated. Amen. Amen. Undefeated. Light is undefeated. Okay. All right. So the darkness comprehended it not or, or, or didn't extinguish it as the CIBC right. used it. Mm-hmm. Uh, first, okay, now go see to the book of Ephesians. This is really good stuff. <laughs> Ephesians 5 and 1 says, Be ye therefore followers of whom? God. Of God. Mm-hmm. Followers, right? Yes. yes. As what? Dear, dear, dear children. children. Dear children. Yes. Dear children. Yes. Dear children. Dear children. I was thinking about uh, studying the scripture. I thought about my little great nephew who was living with my sister and her daughter and her children. So my, my great nephew put up every morning. I guess he goes to the restroom or whatever. My, my, my room is right across from the restroom. <laughs> he'll come into my room, and he'll, he'll, he'll just open the door, and he'll stand there. About five years old, if you want. He'll just stand there, and I say, hey, nephew. And I and I, he just stand there, and I say, come on. I know what he wants. I say, come here. So he walk over to my bed, and I just wrap him up, and I give him a hug. Yeah. Tell him I love, I say, I love you. I love you too, Uncle. And he oh. just walk on out. Yeah. Every morning, that's what I'm talking about. Dear children, I think about a dear child. Yeah. You know, just to, you know, but, but that's, that, that's what we do. That's, that's what he is with me. Mm-hmm. He'll, he'll, he'll open the door and just stand there. Hey, nephew. Yeah. Come here, come here. Walk, walk on over there. Yeah. I'll wrap him up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love you, man. Yeah. Love you too, Uncle. But I think about, I think about dear children. That's a dear child, right? You know, just the word dear really means uh, beloved. Really, you know, just uh, yeah. yes. really love, right? A, a yes. dear child. Right? Uh, you know, <laughs> when, when they get like mother said, when they get three times seven, the word you can't tell <laughs> <tell them. laughs> <laughs> You still love them, you still love them, but they're not that dear. 
because they got their own minds. It's not that dear. I'm going to give you no trouble. <laughs> 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 Amen. 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 That's how he, God told us to be followers of him yeah. as yeah. dear yeah. children. Yes. Yeah. As dear children. Mm -hmm. yeah. dear children. Uh, and, and he said in verse 2 to walk what? To walk in love. 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 Right? This is about what we do. Yeah. Not just what we say. People need to hear it. We need to hear our love. We need to hear it. We need to hear it. But we need to see it. We need to action. Right? And, and we want to just make sure, try try our best to make sure our words line up with our action. And so it says, walk in love. And, and, and But, but it, it really told us, and I love it, how the Bible don't give us the privilege of defining what love is, what love looks like. Because I'm telling you, people have weird ideas of what love is. <laughs> But he says, walk in love how? As Christ also loved us. And did what? Give himself for an offering and sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savior. Offering and sacrifice goes back to the law, everything. I keep saying you really you really can't talk about this in truth, which is holiness, without discussing the law. You just Jesus can do it. Uh, all right. We're going to stop right there. We can let no man to see this. It, I'm telling you, this is all good. It is. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. So I, 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 in, 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 my, in my mind, in my conviction, you know, I call this the children of light. Because in verse 8, he goes on and says, You were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light. And in the Lord walk as children of light. Yeah. Right. So. Let's just call it light of Christmas. Dad, mind you guys have any closing thoughts? Thank you, Lord. Father God, we thank you for what you're doing about your spirit in our lives, Father. We thank you for your word. Woo! Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path, Father. We thank you for helping us to represent you by your word, through your word. Not compromising with your words that help us, God. Give us the grace to do what you called us to do by your glory. Yes. For your glory. Yes. In Yeshua's name. Father, we're constantly praying for the sick and the shut in. We thank you for what you're doing in the bodies of the people even right now. By Jesus, Yeshua's stripes, we are healed. God, we thank you for the miracle work that's going through the bodies of the people right now. According to your word. We thank you. We thank you for the word that's coming forth, and we thank you for what you're doing in our, in, in our lives for your glory, God. We'll thank you forever in Yeshua's name. Amen. 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 Amen.